Today's the day. All that is coming off. All this is going to go on. I watched several videos of people taking this trim off and everyone just destroys it. So I was really surprised I was able to get it off intact. This plastic putty knife is probably my most shameful Amazon purchase ever. It was $1, but it really helped out with this, getting this trim off. I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of scraping of goo here. Let's get on to the grill removal. These grill retainers have a tendency to go flying when you pop them off. Those things came out nice and intact. Phew. It was at this point I started running into trouble. I'm trying to get the headlight connector off and I managed to break a tab on the connector which made it really, really difficult to get off. And I struggled this with this for a while and finally decided it was time for a break. The trim that goes under the headlights connects up right there. That little piece just needs to get moved over. And it's just a matter of taking a pair of needle nose pliers and giving it a squeeze and a push and it pops right out. These clips hold a screw that the grill will slot around. The old grill had the slots on the bottom, but I need to move that clip up to the top for the new grill. For some unknown reason, a previous owner drilled out a pair of holes from behind the hood and they are completely useless. So I've opened them up a little bit, cleaned them up with some paint and I'm going to plug them up. And it's done, except for doing a bit of cleanup with a buffer. I'll do that later. But everything works, headlights work. 
I'm kind of happy with it.